midnight caller. It was just past midnight when my phone rang, jolting me from a deep sleep. I groggily checked the caller ID, but it was an unknown number. I almost ignored it, but something compelled me to answer. Hello? I said, my voice thick with sleep. Help me! A woman's voice whispered, trembling with fear. Who is this? I asked, my heart racing. I don't have much time, she said, her voice barely above a whisper. He's coming for me. What are you talking about? I pressed, my instincts kicking in. Please, just listen. You have to, the call dropped, cutting her off. I sat up, adrenaline surging through me. I tried to call back, but the line was dead. I couldn't shake the feeling that something terrible was happening. Against my better judgment, I decided to investigate. I pulled on my jacket and stepped outside. The air was cold and heavy with the scent of rain. As I drove through my neighborhood, I couldn't help but feel a sense of dread. I decided to head toward the nearby park, where the voice had seemed to come from. As I parked, the trees loomed ominously, their branches swaying in the wind. I called out, Hello? Is anyone there? My voice echoed, swallowed by the darkness. Just then, I heard it, a soft sobbing coming from the direction of the old playground. I followed the sound, my heart pounding louder with each step. When I reached the swings, I saw her, a girl, no older than 20, huddled on the ground, her long hair covering her face. Are you okay? I asked, taking a cautious step closer. She looked up, and my stomach twisted. Her eyes were wide with fear, and she whispered, He's coming. You need to hide. Before I could respond, I heard footsteps approaching. My heart raced as I looked around for a place to hide. I ducked behind a nearby tree, holding my breath as the figure came into view. It was a man, tall and imposing, with a twisted smile that sent chills down my spine. He scanned the area, clearly searching for the girl. I clenched my fists, torn between wanting to help her and the instinct to run. As he got closer, the girl suddenly screamed, run? That was my cue. I dashed back to my car, my heart pounding in my ears. I didn't look back, but I could hear the man's angry shouts as I drove away, the headlights illuminating the dark path ahead. When I got home, I tried to rationalize what had happened. Had it been a prank? Or was the girl in real danger? My phone buzzed again, and I froze. It was a message from an unknown number. I hesitated, then opened it. It was a video clip. I pressed play, and my heart sank. The screen showed the girl from the park, but this time she was bound and gagged, and the man stood over her, grinning. The message read, you should have stayed out of it. I never found out what happened to her, but that night changed me forever. I learned that sometimes, it's better to ignore the call for help, because you might just be putting yourself in the line of fire.